The Texas Rangers have come a long way for a bunch of ragtags never taken seriously in the American League. Born in 1972, when the new Washington Senators were lured away to the Lone Star State. And for 33 of their 40 years, the radio voice of the team has been a Jewish boy from New York. A three-run homer for Eric Davis. And the Reds take a 5-4 lead. It all began in Brooklyn when seven-year-old Eric Nadell was riding in a car with his father one day. My father's uh, DeSoto convertible, listening to Mel Allen broadcasting a Yankee game in Brooklyn, New York, stopped at a light. I was maybe seven years old, and I asked my dad if Mel Allen was getting paid. My dad said, yeah, he's getting paid. That's his job. I said, my dad was a dentist. I said, so you go to the office, and you fill cavities, and you pull teeth, and Mel Allen goes to Yankee Stadium and watches Major League Baseball games. I think I like his job better than yours. And that's, that's how I got interested in, in being a baseball announcer. But for Nadell, sitting in the catbird seat didn't come right away. There were a few stops along the way. That's when I got out of college, I was a hockey announcer. I did three years of uh, minor league hockey at the lowest level, probably the lowest level of all professional sport in Muskegon, Michigan. Then my big break when I was about to retire from broadcasting, because I figured I wasn't good enough if I was stuck there, um, I got a job in Oklahoma City in the Central Hockey League, which was a triple-A job. And then the next year moved down to Dallas and was broadcasting the Dallas Blackhawks minor league hockey when I got a call from the Texas Rangers network asking me if I'd be interested in auditioning with them. And as I say, the rest is history. But don't kid yourself, there's a lot of work to being a baseball announcer. Well, on a typical night game at home, you know, I usually get to bed around 1 in the morning. I wake up around 9. Uh, there's stretching I do when I wake up. I'll have breakfast and I'll get online. I'll spend a couple hours online usually, going through emails and going over everything that happened the night before in baseball, our game and other games. Uh, I'll work out. I'll get back online. I'll have lunch with my wife usually, and then about 2.30 I'll leave for the ballpark. And then I get to the ballpark, I record the Ron Washington show, spend the next few hours just preparing my scorebook for the game, talking to players, talking to other broadcasters, talking to writers, and you know, amassing as much as I can for that nice game. There's an art to bringing listeners into the ballpark each night, and Nadell puts a lot of effort into it. Well, it really is. It's just describe and describe and react. And yeah, you have all this information to get in there, maybe, if the game lends itself to that. The most important thing is describing what you see. I mean, the, I'm broadcasting for blind people, and that's the way I look at it, and that's the way I've got to approach it. The more phrases that I have to describe things, the more interesting it's going to be, which is why I continue to listen to other announcers uh, on XM, on the MLB app, bat app. I buy recordings of old announcers, and I listen to them and pick out phrases that maybe I'm not using. Probably the biggest disappointment was the 2011 World Series. Nadell had been preparing for what he would say when the Rangers would bring Texas its first World Series victory. But words failed him when right fielder Nelson Cruz could not catch what would have been the clincher. Well, you know, I, the only time I heard the replay was on our post-game show that day. I haven't watched the replay. I don't want to watch a replay. I never will watch a replay. But, you know, what came out of my mouth was just this plaintive cry, he can't get it. And that's, you know, that's as, as plain as we needed in that situation. I had all kinds of stuff in mind for after he'd made the catch and the Rangers were the world champions and never got to use it. So what was his biggest thrill as an announcer? Here comes the pitch. Breaking ball, strike three call! The Rangers are going to the World Series! In the 50th year of the franchise, in their 39th year in Texas, under a full moon in Arlington, the Texas Rangers have won the American League pennant. Prior to that, in 1989, Nolan Ryan's 5,000 strikeout. Because at the time, Mark Holtz was doing all the big moments of the games. It was the only big moment I really had a chance to call. And it just happened to come in the middle innings, and uh, you know, the eyes of the baseball world were on Arlington Stadium that night. He struck him out swinging! Strikeout number 5,000 is history for Nolan Ryan! Calling a game with players like Nolan Ryan and Ricky Henderson is a cakewalk compared to a spring training game in Arizona as the team prepares for the 2013 season. Well, these are the hardest games to do by far. 
You know, this, this game today, there might be 60 players in the game, and with the Rangers playing two games on the same day, there are a lot of them I've never seen before, and I'll never see again. We call them back of the book guys. They're not in the Rangers spring training camp, they're in the minor league camp. They come over today because the Rangers need extra players. Dodgers on the road probably have some guys like that. The teams don't usually travel with all their regulars. They're really hard to keep track of who's in the game. They change nine players at once. You don't know who the guys are. They're wearing high numbers. A lot of times two guys wear the same number. Um, you just can't be uh, completely preoccupied with who's actually in the game the way you normally would be. So what teams does Nadell predict to bring home the bacon in the 2013 season? I don't make predictions. It's one thing I learned long ago. You can't predict baseball. Nobody in their right mind would have predicted the Oakland A's to win the American League West last year. No one in their right mind would have predicted the Giants to win the World Series either in 2010 or in 2012, even going into the postseason. No one would have predicted the Cardinals the year before. They barely made it into the postseason. To me, the most useless, useless um, act in the world is trying to predict baseball. This is John Sparks for the Marist Poll.